This is Braden Kelly with bloggingInnovation.com, and I'm here today with Keith Ferrazzi of Who's Got Your Back and also the best selling Never Eat Alone. So, today I'd just like to ask you two questions. Sure. Just to keep it very simple. Uh, number one, what was the impetus for writing this particular book? Well, basically, this book came about because of the recognition of five years of research that showed that if you have two or three people that you can totally let your guard down with, individuals who will absolutely tell you the truth, individuals who will kick you in the butt uh, and make sure that, that you achieve the greatness and all the potential you have inside of you, individuals who will pick you up when you need it, but at the same time help you figure out how you got there and make sure you don't get back there, individuals who will absolutely just make sure you don't fail. If you have two or three people in your corner, in your camp, in that way, your capacity for success far exceeds those who don't. And what we're finding, though, in society today is increasingly we don't have those people in our lives. Now, as we think about relationships and as we think about uh, companies striving to innovate and individuals striving to improve their own lives, which is personal innovation, uh, how do you apply these principles towards innovation or how do you think they relate to innovation and improving it? Sure. Well, actually, this, was an, this is actually an easy one because we're actually writing a whole section of our next book on this subject. Um, we find time and time again that if you don't have these kind of deep relationships, particularly in a team environment, then what happens is you choke back your innovation. Because innovation is all about being able to take a reasonable risk, say stupid stuff. I mean, be fun, be silly. Um, you know, just some instinct that you have, you pull it out in the open and you start talking about it. Well, we've seen that in companies where people are sitting around like, I don't know, like they're clenching a penny between their butt cheeks and it's uncomfortable to actually have a real conversation and you, and you can't look stupid because you're fearful you wouldn't be respected. Those companies don't have innovation. You need to have the framework of the social bonding underneath that gives people permission to have that kind of breakthrough thinking in the organization. So we're very excited about that. We, we, we believe that the strength of relationships is directly correlated to the strength of innovation. Well, thank you very much, Keith. Again, the book is Who's Got Your Back by Keith Ferrazzi, and I'm Braden Kelly of bloggingInnovation.com.